somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. What good is this without helium? I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. So that's where I left my anvil. Hmm. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. It says trinkets. Looks like it's closed. I should probably make an appearance at the Mobile Command Center, or they're going to worry. The door's locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. The door's locked. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. 
I can gather information about the deck party with this. Did I mention that deck chairs are sort of a hobby of mine? Perhaps I could just run up there and see what types are being used. I'm sorry, sir, but the deck chairs have been cleared away to create an entertaining dance floor. Interesting approach, though. I'm here to sign up for the shuffleboard class that starts in uh, about five minutes. So, you better let me shuffle up the gangplank. Sir, this is a private party for only the most exclusive, important people on the island. And they don't play shuffleboard. Come on, just let me on board for five minutes. You can even time me if you want. Sir, do you even understand what the basic concept behind an invitation is? It means someone has to invite you first. The water sure looks refreshing. Too bad I'm so busy saving the world, otherwise I'd take a swim. In the real game, I can use my spy watch to communicate with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center, save the game, load a saved game, and play a fun arcade game. Five 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 one three nine four. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Five. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Monkey Penny, did I ever tell you about the time the demented Dr. Gemini created a clone of me? And I had to stop myself from beating myself up? I wish you'd get a hold of yourself and get going on this rescue mission. Monkey Penny, do you think my white tuxedo is too formal for grief? Spy Fox, don't you have better things to do than hang around here and stare at your reflection in the monitors? I sure wish Quack would get here so I could get some more of those nifty spy gadgets. Professor Quack will fill that vending machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he arrives. So make like a doctor and have some patience. You know, some people say life is like an empty vending machine. You put in your quarter and all you get is a whole lot of nothing. Gee, you're in a depressing mood today, aren't you? Mind if I take the Asti Spumoni out for a little spin? Sorry, Fox. Quack hasn't had a chance to fix it since you cracked it up escaping from the evil Dr. Maney. 
all your good time hits all the time. The forecast, cloudy and windy today with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Pajama Sam, please report to the main office. I need to get to that feta factory and find out if Mr. Utterly's there. Uh-oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door. But this one seems to be made of solid steel. Steel doors. I hate steel doors. Steel and iron, they're the worst. And bronze. Steel, iron, and bronze, and, well, metal in general. This door sure is shut tight. That feta must be extremely odiferous. I wonder if I should be wearing a gas mask. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. I can't wait to get out there and butt heads with this fiendish goat. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? I hope Mr. Utterly's okay. It looks like he's been hanging for a while. Piranha! I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary feta factory. The nice thing about being in the intelligence business is that everyone assumes you're intelligent. Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasts seem to be slowing down. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. I hope Mr. Utterly's okay. It looks like he's been hanging for a while. Will Spy Fox save Mr. Utterly? Which falls faster, 400 pounds of feathers or 400 pounds of beef? Will Mr. Utterly fall through the ice? Can Piranha utterly strip a cow to the bone in seconds flat? Why am I shouting? Find out all the answers and more. Spy Fox in Dry Cereal.